Hello guys, Smart Polly here and welcome back to episode 3 of the Unreal Engine Complete Beginner's Guide. Today we will go over Quixel Megascans, which is a free powerful asset library that has thousands of assets that you can use, ranging from 3D models, textures, and more. It's free for all Unreal Engine users, and if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll notice me using them a lot to create landscape materials, place rocks and grass in my levels, and so on. So to access this free library of assets, all you need to go ahead and do is go over to quixel.com slash megascans, and we need to link your Epic Games account to your Quixel account. So to do that, we can go here to choose a plan, and you're going to see these plans right here, uh, but you can go ahead and scroll down just a little bit further. You're going to see this unlimited access for UE4. So if you have an Epic Games account, and if you use Unreal Engine, you can use all the assets for free. Click the Get Started button, and then sign in with Epic Games. All right, as you can see, it just let me sign in. And so now we've set you up with unlimited access. Uh, what this means is that it has linked the Quixel account to your Epic account for you. If you want to double check real quick, you just go to unrealengine.com, go to your personal, and then go to connections. You're going to see down here under the apps, Quixel, Mixer, and Bridge. You're going to have Quixel uh, linked here to your Epic account. So now what we need to do is go ahead and download Quixel Bridge, which is the library that houses all these assets, and it allows you to export it to Unreal Engine with just a click of a button. So go to quixel.com slash bridge and click this download for free. Okay, and once it's finished downloading, just go ahead and run the installer. And then we can just go ahead and in the settings here, you just want to select Unreal Engine and your local library path. So this is where it's going to store all the uh, local content that you download. I'm just going to leave it as my C drive. Go ahead and save changes. Then what we need to do is sign in to our Epic account, sign in with Epic Games. Okay, so once you sign in, you can go ahead and click your account, account settings. And just to double check, you can see that you have here Unreal Unlimited. So that means that you can uh, download uh, whatever you want. And so what Quixel Bridge is, is a library of all the Megascans assets. So you can see here we have 3D assets. Uh, you can see all the different categories on the left. Then we also have 3D plants. Okay, surfaces, so all different materials, decals, and much more. You can also see collections right here. So these are just different, I guess, themes or packs um, that they've gone ahead and done. Then we have free. Um, these are all the free ones, but since you have an Epic Unlimited account, you don't have to worry about that. Purchase are the ones that you previously downloaded. So as you can see, I've downloaded quite a bit. And yeah, so pretty much you can navigate this by searching here at the top. Say if you want uh, something like a beach rock, you can go ahead and search that. And you can see here there's a bunch of different results to choose from. And to set this up with your project, uh, we'll just go ahead and download uh, this rock right here. So just click download. You're going to see here in the download settings, I downloaded as 8K. So you can actually change the resolution that you want to download at. You can downsample it to 4K or 2K. Uh, in the export settings, this is where we're going to export it to Unreal Engine, to your project. So what we can go ahead and do is create a brand new project here in 4.25.3. Okay, so we'll just make a simple third person project. And so to export it, we just go ahead and select our engine version. We're using 4.25. And then you're gonna select the installation folder. So this is where on your C drive that Unreal Engine is installed. C drive, uh, program files, Epic Games, Unreal Engine 4.25. Go ahead and select that folder. You're gonna see here it's installing Unreal Plugin 6.2 installed successfully. And then as for the project location, you can see here I have the project up here. Okay, so we can go ahead and actually close our project. So for our project location, you're going to select the folder, go into wherever you have your project save. Uh, usually it's in the documents, Unreal Projects. 
and then go ahead and select mega scans and then the content folder so select that folder and so if I reopen my project you're gonna see here that this mega scans uh, button plugin right here is showing so make sure that you have this button here uh, showing in your project uh, this means that we can now send uh, assets over from Quixel bridge over to your project so if we go back to our bridge here we can go ahead and click export because we have set the project location to the content folder and we've installed the plugin successfully so just click export you're going to see it's exporting to Unreal Engine and if I go over to Unreal Engine you're going to see that it's importing and usually it just takes a couple seconds and I guess since this one was downloaded at 4k resolution it might obviously take a little bit longer maybe for a game you drop this down to 2k okay and you can also see here that it's importing all the LODs so that's all good so you can see here it's created in our content folder mega scans 3d assets and the Thai beach rock that we got so you can just go ahead and drag it into your scene um, I'm just gonna set this light source here to movable real quick you can see here this is tiny little rock collection with some sand on it so you can scale this up and as you can see here I've got this nice little asset okay so the collisions aren't really set up uh, but you can obviously go into the settings here complex collision as simple and now you can actually collide with some of these objects. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics of how to use Megascans. Um, it's as simple as uh, grabbing really anything you want, whether it be uh, rocks, materials, plants, and other assets. So if we hit here on the home, uh, you can actually see some of the newer assets that they've added. They add pretty much new surfaces, new models, and new scans every single week. Uh, if not every day and as long as you're using Unreal Engine for your project you can use all these for free and yeah so I mean if I want to download this asset right here and click download it's as easy as just clicking download and then you see this export I can click that and since I already have the settings configured uh, it's gonna automatically know to export to this project yeah so you can go ahead and drag this into your scene And if we go ahead and set up the collision as well, we can just create a simple collision real quick. Spear simplify collision, save that. And then if we hit simulate physics here, you can see we got a little watermelon we can roll around. So yeah, pretty simple to get uh, Quixel Mega Scans right into your game. And they're really high quality assets. And they also have all the LODs and everything set up automatically all the materials so really it's as easy as clicking one button and so it's just a really large library of free assets that that you can use honestly I'm surprised not a lot of people are utilizing this as much as possible uh, because of how high quality some of the assets are but hopefully you guys have learned something in this video and you guys will apply and use it in your games and projects and yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one